Here's where Canada can claim some wins. To start, Canada held on to Chapter 19. That's the dispute resolution mechanism that Canadian companies have often used to overturn U.S. tariffs on softwood lumber, for instance. The deal would also shield Canada's auto industry from the threat of U.S. tariffs. Here's how that would work. The agreement would put a cap on Canada's auto exports to the U.S., but that cap would be set 40 percent higher than Canada's current export levels. There would also be an exemption for Canadian auto exports above that cap, provided they meet new auto content rules. Canada can also claim a win on cultural exemptions. They will remain unchanged from the original NAFTA, protecting Canadian newspapers and TV stations from U.S. takeovers. Another win for Canada, the absence of a five-year sunset clause. Instead, the new deal will last 16 years, with a review six years in. Those are some of the wins. What about what Canada didn't get? To start, U.S. national security tariffs on Canadian steel and aluminum remain in place. Trump slapped uh, more than $16 billion worth of levies in June, and the U.S. hasn't budged yet. Canada also bowed to U.S. pressure to increase patent protections for biologic drugs. Down the road, that will mean higher drug costs for Canadians. And Canadian negotiators also gave ground on supply management. Every supply managed industry will take a hit, poultry, eggs and dairy. That means American farmers will have greater access to Canada's market, spelling more competition for farmers here at home.